We've still got one brilliant final left to go. So Friday night, the women's 200 meter final. Dina Asher-Smith won a hat-trick of titles in Berlin in 2018. And now she's going for a treble of different sorts. 2016 in Amsterdam, winning the 200. Same in Berlin four years ago. Can she do it on a third occasion? Of course, you also have Majinga Kambunji, the Swiss record holder who just missed out in the 100 meters and she'll want to go one better let's see who else might contend the full lineup starting with Shana Gregor of France University of Oregon athlete who was delighted of course to make the world championships there 1.2 seconds out to PB improvement this year Alexandra Burkhart the winter Olympian and Bob Slay, two women silver medalists. Big applause for her. 23 seconds dead at best. Over to Ida Karstow, who this year has had an incredible season. Danish record holder in the 60, 100, 200, and 4x100 meter relay. Breaking a long standing record from 1983. And now some six tenths faster. Dale Cadari of Italy, the European under-23 champion, stepping up to the senior stage here, the best of 22-6. Plenty of the Italian faithful. Jody Williams, someone who in the last couple of years has focused on the 400 metres, a terrific teenage sprint sensation, has spoken a lot about how she's tried to fight to transition to becoming a senior athlete match her times from some of her younger years. This is Lika Klaver then. European indoor 4x4 four four gold medal winner looking for her first individual international medal though. Majinga Kambinji often a fan favourite 22 5 her new Swiss national record Perhaps doesn't get the credit for how consistent she is as well. Silver medalist in the 100, bronze medalist back in 2016. Dina Asher-Smith, a big smile for her. Also the world 200 metre champion back in 2019. This year getting a bronze in Eugene up against the incredible Jamaicans she'll want to add to her list of titles. Well, the championship record has uh, stood since 1986, 21.71 for Heike Dressler, who has five European titles. Dina Asher-Smith going for that same number, by the way, if you include the relay. They also both have one silver to their name. Dressler equaling the world record at the time in her home country in Germany. So there is Asher Smith from lane five. Claver alongside a great 400 runner as well, but enjoys this shorter event more. Majinka Kambunji, who had that lead of a couple of meters in the 100 final, but it was a German who came through. And Alexandra Burkhardt seems to have grown in confidence through the rounds. Just 400 off her PB this year, 23.04. But Asher Smith, the only athlete in this field who has gone sub 22 seconds. 21.96 this year, 21.88, her lifetime best. So final action of the night. Burkhardt, Kadari, Kambunji, Clover, Asher Smith, Karstoff, Grebo, and Jody Williams on the outside. The final of the women's 200 meters. So Asher Smith in the centre, the defending champion. What kind of shape is she in? Struggled with Gramp in the 100 metres and pulled up, but going well so far. Kambunji in the red of Switzerland trying to challenge now with Williams and others well back. 
The battle though, Kambunji against Asher Smith, Switzerland just leading, is Asher Smith going to come through? No, Kambunji is the European 200 metre champion. What a performance from someone who really, eight years ago in Zurich, became a big name and her performances on the world stage have got better and better and now she has the gold medal she craves, the one she was so close to getting in the 100 final, making amends as she breaks out into a smile. 22-32 to beat Dina Asher-Smith and uh, stop the Briton from getting three consecutive European titles in a row. That's some performance from Kambunji. And look at that. A sprint medal from Denmark is super impressive from Karstoff just beating there. Jody Williams of Britain. Clava all the way back in fifth for such a talented young athlete. Well, what an what a year for Majinga Kambunji taking the world indoor title over 60 metres in Belgrade in March and now standing on top of Europe as far as the 200 metres is concerned. It's a cool night. It wasn't ever going to challenge 22 seconds, I don't think. 22.32, the winning time. But it was an absolutely epic head-to-head -head battle down the home straight between Kambunji and Asher Smith. And they were so far ahead of the rest of the field. Kambunji, I think, really won the race in that third quarter. Diana Asher Smith had had a great bend. Kambunji just fractionally behind as we look at the replay. Sort of stuttered out of a bo blocks, Kambunji. Not the best of start by any stretch of the imagination. Dina Asher Smith absolutely flying around the bend. And then Kambunji just starts to reel her in as Dina Asher Smith starts to tense just very, very slightly. And then the momentum just brings the Swiss sprinter right the way through to the line as Karlstoff becomes the best of the rest with that surge over the final 40 metres. What a terrific performance. And Kambunji, she knows she's got gold. She's over, almost overcome with emotion in those last couple of metres. It's hard to believe she's got a world bronze medal over 200 metres and she's never had a European 200 metre medal. But she has now Majinga Kambunji taking the gold medal in the 200 metres. Perhaps justifying or skipping those 4 by one heats this morning for her Swiss team. They struggled without her. But Majinga Kambunji all smiles. She had a fantastic 2022. The performance in Belgrade was astonishing. And she's backed it up really well here with the European title. Yeah, and I think she's a better athlete than many people would give her credit for. She's a, another to have completed the set of European medals now. Silver in the 100, as we said, and then the bronze in 2016 in Amsterdam for the world indoor 60-metre champion earlier this year. So uh, capping off a great year. Now, with the flag of Switzerland on her back, there is Dina Asher-Smith, who, of course, just finishing behind her, just losing out in that battle. Someone who's been very vocal, Hannah, I think this is a really important point to mention, about the effect of a, a period, essentially, menstrual cycles, something we've seen more female athletes being more outspoken about. It's massive, the effect of the menstrual cycle on female athletes. You fluctuate through the month. It's different different hormones. People always presume when you come to that menstruation stage, that's the, that's the trickiest bit. But for every athlete, it's different as the hormones rise and fall. And I think uh, so often we do see almost surprisingly poor performances from some females. And I do think it's important that the females speak up more and more um, because it's not an excuse, it's a reason. Uh, but it's seen as sometimes as people giving an excuse and I was just thinking today, Alex, we were discussing this. Uh, Dina Asher-Smith struggled, struggled at the World Championships. What are we? Pretty much exactly four weeks after the World Championships. An athlete have got to start building in, but that's a brilliant return from Dina Asher-Smith to pick up a silver medal here. Yeah, not taking anything away from Cambodge's victory. Just an important discussion point, certainly. And good to see that it's, uh, it's kind of shaking off that as being a taboo subject. But uh, Kambunji, 30 years of age now, and she has European indoor and outdoor medals again on the world stage also and growing in stature as one of Switzerland's best sports people. Look at the delightful cast off as well. The Danes, they've had a crop of sprinters getting better and better, setting national records. 
in the relays. We saw that again this year. Cast off the best of the lot along with it. The improving Matilda Kramer and Astrid Glenna Frampton. So let's have a look at this full confirmed result from the last final of the night. Kambunji from Asher Smith and cast off. And uh, look at that as well. You've got five athletes sub 23 seconds.